All right, let's uh, switch a little bit here to the microchip security flaws. Uh, NVIDIA, the chip maker behind those amazing graphics in the Call of Duty franchise, uh, releasing a patch for its chipset. So they recently admitted were vulnerable to the massive Spectre security threat. And last night, Liz Clayman caught up with arm holding CEO Simon Seagars in his very first interview at CES 2018. Now, arm holdings. One of the chip sector's leading companies, 100 billion chips powered by ARM, shipped across the globe, used in everything from PCs to your smartphones. ARM providing the architecture, essentially, that thousands of other companies use to build their own chips. Now, in the first on Fox Business interview, here's what the man behind the world's number one tech ecosystem provider had to say about the new threat facing his industry. What's the latest with the chip flaw that's been discovered, the meltdown and the specter? Tell our viewers what's going on there. Well, these, these are really serious issues. It's something that uh, we became alerted to uh, last year, thanks to research that's been going on. Um, what we did was get together with our partners and really work out with urgency um, how to address the issue, how serious it was, how pervasive it was, and work out how to work together uh, to get mitigating software out there to make sure that devices are as safe as they can possibly be. Um, it really is a, a new class of uh, security flaw that, that's been uh, discovered here, and it really does change our definition of what safe means. Uh, you say last year. Uh, Intel kind of found out about it, or at least released it to the, the world last week. We all just heard about Meltdown Inspector. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I th this was known uh, around the middle of last year, um, and what what. Uh, what's happened between finding out about it and now is it's allowed time for the industry to get ready uh, to, to for make what, sure. For what, the media onslaught? I mean, no, 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 to, to get ready with the software mitigations that have been released to all devices and are being pushed out right now so that devices can be made as safe as possible, as quickly as possible, before the bad guys out there in the world find out about this and start to weaponize these, uh, th these issues. Okay, to the patch that's supposed to mitigate the flaw, Microsoft has, has gotten it out there that they're halting the use of the patch because it is slowing down some of their machines. So I think, um, you know, issues, slowdown, performance degradation, whatever, it's going to be different for different devices. Uh, what's key, though, is that this software gets out there, gets tested, gets deployed, users download it and adopt it in their devices as quickly as possible uh, so that we can go on with uh, devices that are as safe as we can make them. The government-sponsored CERT Computer Emergency Response Team says maybe the only solution is to recall these chips. Is there going to be a recall? Your architecture is in what how many billions hundred plus billion devices throughout yeah, I mean, it's uh, world? over a hundred billion uh, arm processes recall so actually only a very small percentage of them uh, have the performance features that are exploitable by um, by these these flaws uh, so it's only a very small percentage uh, recalling them wouldn't do a lot of good um, the the hardware features that enable the performance, the uh, the security issues that come with that can be mitigated in software, uh, certainly for our devices, uh, and that's the the route that we're taking. What is the best thing? We've talked about the bad things at CES mm -hmm. here to talk about, but the best thing now that you're facing here at CES. It's, it's, well, I think you know when I come to CES every year, um, I spend the rest of the year thinking about technology and and the performance of microprocessors and what software can do. And whenever I come to CES, what I see here is that all put to good use by consumer companies, uh, turning all that goodness into uh, great products that consumers want to see. And it's always fun to see how from one year to the next they get better and better. Yeah, fun is good. Recalls are bad. You say no Absolutely. recalls. No recalls. Uh, well, I'm not expecting uh, a recall of, of ARM-based devices. For, for other companies, I can't really comment on that.